Hey, thanks for phoning in. We've got a great matchup. Two powerful films about New York City bank robberies, hostage negotiations, and media overkill. Should you pay for a big night out and see Inside Man? Or maybe rent the classic Dog Day Afternoon and stay home with some popcorn? That's our SmackDown. And in this corner, Inside Man. Everybody get down on the floor now! You're the hostage negotiator. That's right, Detective Frazier. Denzel Washington stars as Detective Keith Frazier, who investigates a bank robbery where it looks like the bad guys may not even be so bad, and they may not even be after money. It's not a who done it, but a why done it. The master thief is Dalton Russell, played by Clive Owen, definitely a criminal with a twist and a plan. His includes telling the hostages to strip to their underwear and taking away their cell phones. It's completely intense, the cell phone part. Now, even though Inside Man's director, Spike Lee, plays his film as the made-for-fun heist movie that it is, he also got a lot of inspiration from the film story of another bank robbery. When I heard of bank robbers escaping on a plane with 50 hostages, you saw a dog day afternoon, you're stalling. And that true event, a minor league robber named Sonny Wartson ended up being played by a major league actor, Al Pacino. In this corner, it's dog day afternoon. You're going to talk to me or what? I give you one hostage for each thing you give me. See, if you give me the helicopter, then I give you a hostage. If you give me the jet, then I give you a hostage. I just saw both of those films in the same day, and all I can say is, I'm never going in a bank again. I'm doing the whole financing on the internet from now on. Inside Man ruled the box office with a $29 million opening weekend. It was the best ever for both Spike Lee and Denzel Washington. Meanwhile, Dog Day Afternoon just came out with a 30th anniversary DVD to put it back before the public again. And both of these movies work, just differently, at their own pace and in their own way. Inside Man, though, is a far more complex movie in terms of the production and the scope of its story. It's big all the way. What are you doing? Come on, this ain't no bank robbery. Get back there. What are you doing? Look at him with him. Get over there. Go on back there, man. Get over there. What are you doing? He wants to kill me so bad he can taste it. I'll go over there. I'll kill you. Erica! Erica! Dog Day Afternoon, which is smaller and more personal than its competition, got nominations back in 1975 for Best Picture, Best Actor, and Best Director. Funny how the cop role changed, too. Charles Durning back then was the hostage negotiator. He was fat, frumpy, and frazzled. Even though Denzel's hostage negotiator character is a class act by comparison, 2006 probably doesn't have an Oscar in store for Inside Man. It may be the perfect bank robbery, as Clive Owen says at the beginning, but it's not the perfect movie. It wants to be a mystery, for example, but it tells you very early and very clearly who the bad guy is and what he's protecting, which means that you know more than Denzel, which, I don't know, seems unfair. Another thing that hits you watching these films back to back is that in Dog Day Afternoon, you really, really get to know the bank robbers, but not the cops. And in Inside Man, you really, really get to know the cops, but not the bank robbers. I mean, in Sonny Wartzik's world, we meet his mother, his wife, even his lover who's waiting for a sex change operation. In Dalton Russell's world, we meet, well, nobody. POV is totally different in these two films. But a SmackDown's about you. Where do you put your time and money? Here's how I feel. Sorry, Al, but Inside Man smacks down Dog Day Afternoon. The truth is, Dog Day just lacks the sustained interest of Inside Man, and we're talking about two hours of your life and not done school. Pacino's character, doomed from the start. But everything's up for grabs in Inside Man. Things may not only appear to be. And therein lies the rock. So get out your credit cards and head down to the multiplex. This one's worth going out for. And I'll see you at the next SmackDown. What do you think? Text me at the number you see on your screen. And your SmackDown decision will show up on your phone.